Hi my friends, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry that it has been a little while since I have uploaded my last video, but there are several good reasons for that. And today I'm going to do kind of like a two-part type video, uh, meaning I'm going to do this and I want to talk to you guys first. Tell you where I've been, what's been going on with my life, that kind of thing. And then I would share with you some things that I picked up during the Black Friday um, haul or Black Friday sale and then what's also counting as my birthday haul because my birthday was uh, last week <laughs> last week yeah so I wanted to share those things with you as well for a little fun since I haven't done a haul in a while that kind of thing so for those of you that have been a little while um, following me and been my followers and I have been subscribed to my channel for some time now you know that normally I, on a normal basis, um, I have uploaded pretty, pretty pro consistently, um, at least once a week. But this year has really taken my life for a turn to where it was hard for me to do that. And I really did not know what to expect, or I did not know, have any idea of what was going to go on <laughs> for my life this year. But... I will tell you guys now a lot of you know um, that obviously that I moved uh, to Oklahoma I moved back because it didn't work out you know the whole spiel if you don't um, there's other videos about that where about I did a craft room tour about the other room and that kind of thing so I will save you the details of all that but um, life has just been a lot a lot a lot of changes uh, for my husband and I this year and but just kind of fast forward to what's been going on with me in the last six months since I've been home back to Missouri um, it's been hard for me to reestablish myself and get settled uh, I guess you will again because I um, I had my job that I had before I had it for 12 years and that's a long time you know, especially whenever you establish yourself in a, because I worked at a hospital, I still do, um, but whenever you establish yourself, you know, as an employee there for 12 years, you know a lot of faces and um, just the overall um, feel of it. And, uh, and I, even though I was gone for just a few months from there, you know, things changed dramatically, it felt like. So, um, so whenever we decided to come back, move back here, I had to reapply for a different job and I wasn't getting anything full time. And so I wound up having to, I won't say settle for a part time job, but at least, and at least whenever I did apply for the job, I thought that, um, part time would be fine. And it, and I guess for the most part it is, but in the beginning it was hard, uh, financially because obviously it wasn't making the income that I was. Not that I was making a whole lot. Please don't think that I was. I wasn't. But you know, you always get comfortable with what you make um, and you get a routine with your budget, that kind of thing. So, um, and I know I don't have to explain myself, but I just want to put what I'm trying to say out there here. So anyway, I got my job and um, so I'm working part-time part as an administrative assistant. Uh, at the hospital for a certain department and and I do like it you know it's very laid back for what I do anyway and I like that because um, you know for a lot of years a lot of those 12 years I did a very stressful job and dealing with the public if any of you do work for the public you know it's hard to work for the public <laughs> um, and especially whenever you're dealing with um, uh, rules and regulations, especially state guidelines, you know, it's hard, and, and federal, it's hard to um, explain to those that I don't understand, um, especially when it comes to health care, uh, those ins and outs. Anyway, so, uh, so I've been at this job for six months now, and, um, but it wasn't enough for me, uh, like I said. So, I was just with different conversations that I've had um, and just random thoughts about this and that in the department that I am in also has the coding department if you're familiar with anything with medical medical coding 
that has to do with how you get your medical bill. It's, the, it's how it's coded. It depends on what your bill is going to turn out. So um, I had a friend of mine, our colleague, I met up with, uh, or I, I saw in town one day, and she asks, are you interested in medical coding? And I never ever thought that I would be. But it got to me thinking, maybe I am. You know, uh, this may be the time to try. So um, I went on and um, management changes had been made and that kind of thing, this, this that, and the other. Coding had uh, a new supervisor and the supervisor that I that they wound up getting, I absolutely adore. And so I wound up talking, talking to her one day and that conversation led to my next I guess my next move in my life, which is that I will be going to starting school in January at college at MSU here in West Plains, um, Missouri State University, uh, to get my medical coding certificate. And I am very nervous. <laughs> I am, I just turned 43, and this is the first time that I'm ever going to be attending college classes. So um, this is a big deal for me because. Um, I was happy <laughs> that I made it through high school um, simply because I wasn't a bad student. It just sometimes certain subjects are harder than others for me, specifically math and science. And one of the courses that I have to take in, in my medical coding certification is math. So I am very nervous about that, but uh, I have very much a big support system include that's you know the biggest part of that is my husband and he is going you know to help me out with that um, so I am going to be going through all that so I'm going to be starting in January and um, so I'm sure that I'm going to try to keep my YouTube channel going I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it like I used to at least for the the immediate future so that's one of my biggest changes of my life this year and I know it's going to be a good one because um, because obviously the Lord has <laughs> blessed us some opportunities this year and has said that this path it's got to take a little bit of a change and sometimes it's hard to accept those changes but uh, I'm doing it so I'm hoping <laughs> That I get through it just fine but so that's one of the things and um, so that's probably why you haven't seen me a whole lot lately I've been in the process of applying for school getting through all that uh, process orientation getting set up getting my books um, and also stressing about it I'll be completely transparent with you because it is a very new role for me and you know I'm halfway uh, or you know, I'm, I'm in my 40s now, so you figure you usually whenever you get in your 40s, more or less or not, you have your life sort of figured out of what you want to do. <laughs> and I feel like I'm kind of starting over in a way. But I know it for, it's for a good, a good, a good thing. It's good for me. It's good for my, for my family. So, um, <clears throat> and I know that, <coughs> excuse me, what I'm about to pursue is going to be good financially. So that's the whole reason why I'm doing this obviously and to better myself as a person too and grow so that's one of the biggest reasons why my channel has suffered this year other than the moves that I've had and the other things that have been going on um, it, if you follow me on Instagram you may or may not have seen that my husband and I are also reinvent re can never say that word Redoing. I'm going to say redoing. <laughs> redoing our house. Um, we're almost done with our kitchen. We're having to do other areas uh, of our home first before we get to finish the kitchen because it plays specifically the floor. <laughs> um, but we've done a lot to our kitchen. We're kind of in, we've kind of migrated into our hallway right now. So it's been a big undertaking for us. Um, obviously, um, and that has also taken some financial toll as well but since we moved and then we came back to this house we knew that if, if ever one day we would we wanted to try to sell or try to put it back on the market it needed to be updated so um, 
you know, we don't have any plans to move. We may be in this house for another 10, 15, 20 years, but um, who knows? But we definitely do need to do the upgrades because this is an older home and it, we never did anything. I know whenever my, before I married my husband, we never really did anything big on the inside. So um, that's what we're doing now. So lots of big things going on. <laughs> But um, I hope, you know, obviously there's way more to what's been going on in my life, but I want to spare the smaller details. But that for the gist of everything, that has what's been going on. So I, I am so sorry that I haven't been able to um, focus on my YouTube channel, but it, it's, it's one of those things that just had to have go back to the back burner. Um, so, and also, I just got over being um, sick this past weekend, literally this past weekend. Um, I actually got hit with food poisoning. You guys, that is not fun. That is not fun. It hit me so fast, and it was so unexpected, and I, I, I almost came to the point where I was going to have to go to ER. Do you hear our friend back there? She's wanting in my Gracie's running in <laughs> but um so yeah food poisoning I don't recommend it for anybody it's it's very bad um and I had a bad case of it but luckily I'm up I'm better and I'm back to going to work that kind of thing so I got through another obstacle <laughs> but um I'm, I'm ready for this year to be over and uh and I'm ready to get started with what life has in store for the next chapter so but I also thought in this video I would do a haul because I haven't done one uh, I was able to make a few purchases over Black Friday and there, these are some of the things that I've been wanting for quite some time and uh, I thought I would go ahead and share those things with you guys so thank you all so much for being patient with me um, and sticking around and being a subscriber of mine it really does mean the world to me I really do appreciate that and um, you know I'm not saying goodbye to my channel at all I'm just saying that I may not be uploading as much as I once did at least in the near you know future I want to say year year and a half because I've got to really focus on what I'm going to be doing with school and obviously work. So you'll you'll still see a video here and there. Um, I do have um, obligations uh, with Hedgehog Hollow. I'm still a part of their design team. Um, but for the most part, just random videos, um, you know, I, I have to kind of take a step back. So that's that. <laughs> I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody is having a wonderful start to their holiday season and you know hopefully the stresses of all that are not getting getting you down. I hope that you're able to stay upbeat. Um, it's hard these days to do that and it feels like you know obviously with other things going on in the world that also doesn't help either. But I'm hoping that, you know, whenever I do upload that I can provide just a little bit of corner to your happiness and the and of your world. So um, let's go ahead. I want to put you guys up back up on my tripod and I want to go ahead and show you guys what I picked up for uh, my birthday for myself <laughs> as well as some of Black Friday purchases. So let's go ahead and see what I got. Okay, you guys. <laughs> So I'm sure I know you haven't seen this this angle in a little while either. So let's go ahead and check out some of these goodies that I was able to pick up and splurge for myself for my birthday as well as some Black Friday purchases. So what I'm going to share with you first is my order that I placed with Tailored Expressions. I said I believe in some t at some point in the year excuse me I said at some point in the year um, that I've been really enjoying seeing all the things that Tailored Expressions has but excuse me uh, has been releasing so um, and some of those things I wanted to put on my wish list so let me go ahead and zoom you just in just a smidge all right so uh, first thing I picked up from Tailored Expressions is their Oreo ink pad. Um, I 
have been seeing a lot of videos seeing that how black this ink is and <laughs> uh, in the past I guess I've done a lot of I say a lot I've done several videos uh, comparing black inks and so um, and this is probably no different, but um, I'm not exactly sure. I'm thinking that this pink pad is good for um, Cupic markers or alcohol based markers. I'm not sure if it is. I'll have to give that a try And if you guys know you can leave the comment down below letting me know if it is but um, it says it's a hybrid ink pad um, And it's you know really black so I would think that it would be um, But anyway, I definitely wanted to you know give this a shot so I picked that up. I picked up some of the masking stencils. This is the rectangles and it comes with um, the obviously the outline and the what do you call it? The not the shadow, but I'll open this. It comes with the the, the I'll say the innards. <laughs> so you get you get these pieces here that you can cover instead of doing you know you can ink around and have a blank space here so yeah so you get four stencils you know you get the two solid pieces and then you get the uh, blank pieces here so that's really going to be exciting to do uh, those clean and simple cards that I love to do so I was excited to be able to pick those up because they were sold out for a little while Next up, I picked up this gift, gifted background, and what's so fun about this now um, is they also have a die that matches this uh, stamp as well as a stencil, and I did go ahead and pick up the stencil, but the stencil you can place over the stamped images, and it will you can actually color these presents really easy, just like as you see them here. You can do like a rainbow effect here probably which what what I'll do or you can do just an ombre effect or um, you know whatever but you can color them really fast that way so I thought that was a really fun combo to pick up and obviously tailored expressions during during the um, Black Friday um, event <laughs> they had a, a nice I believe it was 20 or 20 oh no it was a range it was a range of products that ranged between I think it was 20 and 40 percent off so um so that was nice so I'm a, I'm happy to be able to play with this at some point and uh and make some really fun birthday cards or um you know I, I got it mainly probably for birthday cards but so this is one of the things that was on my wish list this year um, that I finally picked up for myself and um, but I just never could pull the trigger and that's the simple strips and this is the stamp set here and then of course the coordinating dies to go with that so I got the um, simple strips the background or simple strips it says background but you've got all those sentiments and I'm sure you've all seen this already but I have all these sentiments and then I also have sentiment I can't talk people I'm so sorry simple strips birthday all birthday sentiments fun fun so that I'm gonna get a lot of good right good uses out of this but this is absolutely one of the most innovative things I've seen, you know, in a long time, not just this year, but in, in a long time in the stamping world. So um, kudos to Taylor and her company for coming up with this idea. It's so it's just so cool. So, you know, luckily, see if you've bought the dies, you don't have to buy the dies once. And all you have to do is continue just to buying, you know, all the sentiments. So I, I picked that up and I got a little bit of discount on that. So that's exciting. So I got that. Next up is a couple of orders I have from Butterfly Reflections Inc. And this is on courtesy of my friend Christy. She sent me a gift certificate for Butterfly Reflections Inc. And this is what I got it got from that so I, I wanted to go and um, whenever I saw the crunchy leaf ink being released earlier this year I wanted to pick it up just never got a chance to do it so so um, I picked this up 
and what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to stamp in this ink uh, instead of like if you didn't want a harsh black color stamp in this ink and then color over it with your alcohol based markers and uh, and you can get a little bit of a softer look to your images that way so I'm so excited to try this out and see uh, how I like it but for what I have seen from design team samples and I'm um, just you know the interwebs as as a whole um, it, it, really, it really looks like a really great ink to have in the in the arsenal next up I picked up this warm wishes die this is also one of those things that one that line that landed on my wish list and I really do want to you know invest more into more um, word dies and this is a really nice big size so of course I love all the hello bluebird uh, dies as a whole they're they're great quality and um, really nice price point so I wound up picking that up and then I also picked up this 6x6 pad this is the little lumberjack and I absolutely love I tried to open it and I tore the front of it and I probably shouldn't have done that but <laughs> um, I'm going to try to open it properly now and show you guys in case y'all haven't seen this now I know that my friend Christy did use this in one of her um, videos for her holiday card series I'm not exactly sure it may have been it may have been for this card here and I'm not exactly sure which number uh, video that was but um, I just loved it. I just, you know, and I just love these patterns. And of course, red um, buffalo plaid is really hot this year. It seems it always is, but I mean, but I did pick this one up because I just love the colors. I love red, white, and black, and I love wood green. But I also thought this would be a great one to have just to have on hand for masculine cards too. So, really great patterns in this one. And I haven't bought a 6x6 pad in probably since I was in Oklahoma, which was um, earlier in the year, like uh, like March, April. And so just really lovely patterns. And it just repeats. So I picked that up. And I, yeah, I think that's it that I picked up. Oh, no. I picked up um, one more thing, but I'm going to share that at the end. <laughs> I'm going to share that at the end, you guys. Okay, and then the next thing, uh, things that I picked up was from the stamp market. So I'm going to share those things. Actually, let's go ahead and do the Simon order. Um, they had a really, I had a couple of things on their website that was marked down and that I thought I would go ahead and pick up. I did also get this stamp set here for it being my birthday. And I thought that was pretty cute with the little pig. I don't know. Um... Honestly, it's, you know, it is cute, but it's just not my style. But, you know, anyway, I, 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 it's a freebie, so that, that's fun. But I picked up this die. This is the Kinley Snowflake. I love snowflake dies. And this is a decent size. So I got that, and it was like, I don't know, marked down to just a, a few bucks. So I got that. And then I wanted this one as soon as it came out too, but I just didn't want to pull the trigger on it. But it was marked down as well uh, to a pretty, pretty, um, this is the sunflower frame. Yes, sunflower frame. I love sunflowers. And I have the, the bigger die, the bigger sunflower. And I wish I had a card to show you guys, but I did, I think I did make a video I believe, yeah, I did make I did make videos using that die, uh, but this is the frame, and I thought that would be fun to have as well. Maybe even to pair it up somehow. I, I don't know, but I thought that was a pretty good deal that I couldn't pass up either. So I got that, and those are the things that I picked up from Simon. And then, last but not least, I have an order here from the stamp market. So. Um, this one here, I, I, I think, you know, a lot of these are really just majority sentiment, but I love my sentiment. And I just love these fonts. So this first one here is, this, what is this called? Have a nice day. I mean, 
perfect. I mean, that, that, that'll that fit a card, you know, make a great focal point right there. So have a nice day. You brighten my days. Thank you ever so much. Hello, you are the proof there is good in this world. Just letting you know you are. And then it's got these boxes uh, and different sentiments. And it's amazing, the best ever, one of a kind. And they'd be fun to kind of mark them. You know, one of them or all of them or whatever. But you kind of got to see that, how that's uh, done. And then the, this is the uh, dies for hello and the big have a nice day. So I just I just love that and of course it was marked marked down you know during Black Friday so I picked that one up. I picked up this thanks so much and it's got a coordinating die set as well the shadow as well as um, the letters so you can either use this I believe I'm not sure I'll have to try it out I'm not sure if this will actually cut this out or or if this is just the next separate die set. It may be just a separate die set. That's what the, with, that's what the same font. Either way, I love it. <laughs> um, so, love the like thank you cards. So, I picked that one up. Same concept. This one is called A Few Words. I just love that bold, just bold, basic font. And also have the coordinating dies for it as well. Now, I do believe that this one, you can cut them out. I'm almost positive, yeah. That you want to where you stamp the words out, you can use the dies to cut your words out. I'm almost positive. Some dies that are create are created that way and then some of them are not. So so I picked that up. I also picked up the stencil, which is the plaid stencil. And I just, you know, I thought it was a really great basic to have in, in my collection. And you can use this with either feminine or masculine cards either way. It'll be good for any holiday, whether it be everyday cards or birthday. Uh, I mean, obviously Christmas, um, you know, if you make Easter cards. I think it's a really great staple to have in your arsenal to make really fun uh, your own backgrounds with your inks or um, pastes or whatever. So... I, I really love that stencil. I thought I thought it was one that I just couldn't couldn't pass up either. So I have that. And then finally, last but not least, I picked up this one here. This one is called Donuts. <laughs> Simply called Donuts. And of course you got the donuts. Um, some of it's got the frosting already on it, but then you can put swirls or the sprinkles or little hearts. And I thought this would be fun even for Valentine's Day cards. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make any, but I thought it would be re it's a really great timing. But I love the sentiments. It says, you sweet thing. <laughs> and thanks a whole bunch. I just love that. Of course, this one has the dies with it. Now, I have a little story. So, I can't remember... Yes, I do. I do remember. Now, I bought this set from Vanessa's shop, <laughs> and I wanted to get the dies for this set, but I didn't. I don't believe she had them. So, whenever I was going and doing my order for the stamp market, I saw that they had this set along with the dies. So, um, I of course wanted the dies, but I didn't want. I didn't need two sets. And I already placed one one order, um, my order with uh, Vanessa, which is Butterfly Reflections Inc. So, because of that, I'm going to give this to one of you guys, um, just because you know, no reason, no no reason at all, other than just you know, you guys being you and being supportive and being so kind to me and just hanging hanging in there with me. So I'm sorry that it doesn't have the dies, but I'm sure that that you could find a circle die. Um, to cut these out or you know and just stamp them or cut them out yourself whatever but I wanted to give to this this stamp set to one of you guys if you're interested in winning it and I'm going to make this super simple all you have to do is obviously be a subscriber because that's only fair and two leave me a comment down below telling me um, what your Christmas plans are and um, that's it and I'm going to pick a random winner. I will say um, I'm going to make that. I want to make this kind of a short, short thing. So I'll give it a week. And so a week from a week from today. 
and I will pick a random winner and to win this so be sure that you are subscribed and be sure that um, you know that uh, because otherwise I, I will need a way to get a hold of you guys if you happen to be become my winner I need it to be a very simple thing <laughs> to be able to uh, get a hold of you guys so um, thank you all again um, for always being supportive of my channel I truly appreciate it again I'm so sorry that my videos have just been all over the place this year it was just one of those things that I didn't plan for and but it is what it is and you know life throws us curveballs sometimes and I sure got a lot of those this year <laughs> but uh, you know I, I'm, I'm thankful to be able to go through it you know so that is it for this video I'm sorry it's a longer video but it just had to be done I just wanted to explain where I've been I love all of you I really do thank you all so much for watching my channel if you haven't subscribed already I'd love for you to become a subscriber and I will catch you all in the next video very soon Thank you.